Alison Fugel and I wrote this song engraved upon my palms um, quite some years before it was eventually launched in the musical Snakes and Ladders. We, we kind of saw it as a ministry song where God brings his love to each one of us through a song. But of course in Snakes and Ladders it was one of the points in the musical where we showed God offering a covenant, a ladder as a relationship between him and his people and of course we always manage to find a snake at some point to slide down. But it was the good news of God speaking to us, particularly as a parent. And that's really what I want to talk to you about today is that, you know, all we've learnt, not all we've learnt, but most of what we've learnt about the love of God and how he relates to us initially has been learnt through the formative relationships of perhaps through a parent. That's most likely with most of us, a, par a father or a mother. And if there's been a replacement there, there will have been formative figures. And maybe it's through close relations, even through a school teacher. And we've, we've, we've learnt um, a lot about love through other people before we read about it in the Bible. It, it, we, we learn about it. Now, that means there's great things we learn. I have to say, I've had wonderful parents, although I have to say, I think they were imperfect. They would have done anything for me, but yet they reacted imperfectly. And probably just as important, I reacted imperfectly to them. So sometimes acts of love can be interpreted in the wrong way, and we can be negative even to acts of love. So we come, all of us, from a very, very mixed background. So our concept of love and of a loving God who comes to, towards us to, to, to deal with us and to offer us, us his love can be received in very different ways. So we get to the points in the Old Testament where uh, we've got these two amazing verses of which we based the song, which Alison wrote these really wonderful words from Isaiah 49, verses 15 and 16. Can a mother forget the baby at her breast? and have no compassion on the child she has born. Though she may forget, I will not forget you. See, I have engraved you on the palms of my hands. Isn't that amazing? And it's where God is using the illustration of a mother's love to say, I'm going to be like that. Uh, can a mother forget her child? that she's born? Can she possibly neglect that child? That would not be the natural thing to do and that's certainly not what the love of God as our wonderful parent would, would, would be like and many of us will know we've had parents like that but God shows us something even better. And remember he was talking through the prophet Isaiah to a people who weren't probably going to listen anyway and they were going to be taken off into exile and they were basically uh, going to go through an incredibly difficult period. And then Alison also found these wonderful words from Hosea. Now remember the, the prophet Hosea again was writing to the northern kingdom which was about to go off into exile and probably never to be heard of again. And yet there was love going out from God to them. And first of all in the book of Isaiah he uses a family relationship of a husband who's told to go and love again. Your wayward wife who has prostituted herself, who has gone off with other men, but to go and love her again. And then when we get to chapter 11 he uses the same idea of family relationships and he talks about the love between a parent and a child. And just listen to these words from Hosea chapter 11 from verse 1. When Israel was a child, I loved him, and out of Egypt I called my son. But the more they were called, the more they went away from me. They sacrificed to the Baals and burnt incense to images. It was I who taught Ephraim to walk, taking them by the arms. But they did not realise it was I who healed them. I led them with cords of human kindness, with ties of love. To them, I was like one who lifts a little child to the cheek and I bent down to feed them. Wow. 
what an amazing picture of the love of a parent to a child. And when we're thinking about father and mother love, we see embodied in the love of God that comes through Jesus. So Jesus picks up when he was talking about the love of, of God to, to his people when his disciples had said, Lord, teach us to pray. And Jesus was going, this is in Luke 11, and Jesus was going to go on to say, actually, you understand prayer, but all it's about relationships, which is why he started the Lord's Prayer with Father. But it's generally about the parental love of father or mother, which we see coming from God. Jesus taught them the pattern prayer, the Lord's Prayer, the rabbi's prayer that he modelled and said, pray like this. He talks uh, later on in, in Luke 11, he talks about the person who persistently knocks at the door and says, please get up, I've, I need your help. And eventually the person wakes up and, and goes to the help of the person. Jesus talks about persisting. It, it's OK to keep asking God. Ask and you shall receive. Seek and you shall find. Knock and it will be answered to you but then he gets I believe to the most amazing bit where he particularly says about the relationship between a loving parent and a child and say that God does even does even better he said which of you fathers if your son asks for a fish will give him a snake instead or if he asks for an egg will give him a scorpion if you then though you're evil which incidentally means slightly less than perfect you know how to give good gifts to your children. How much more will the Father in heaven give the Holy Spirit to those who ask him? You know, um, going back to parents and mothers and fathers, as a, as a parent myself, uh, I know how often we will have failed them, we won't have got it right. Recently, my PA, Amy, one of our team at CMM, um, she's got pregnant again and, and um, we're delighted that she's expecting another child. Uh, but uh, what happened quite recently was that Amy, who was walking downstairs with her laptop, uh, she fell downstairs, missed her footing, and uh, that's, it's a terrible thing to have happened to her. And she, uh, she says that my instinct wasn't to protect the laptop. My instinct wasn't to protect myself. And she actually led with her feet and her legs and got really, really battered. She said, my instinct was to protect my baby. And Amy's fine, incidentally. But you see, um, isn't that just the, the reaction of a loving mother, of a loving parent, that our first reaction will be to come to the protection and, and to love our, our child? That's the love which God brings to us through Jesus. Jesus talked about father in a way no one else ever did. And whether we're thinking about father love or mother love, Jesus is teaching that just like a parent, I love you, I'm looking out for you, I've got great plans for you, I'll do anything to protect you. And that's really the story of Engraved Upon My Palms. That's the song, t taking words from the Old Testament. I'm going to suggest that as you listen to it now, that you open yourself to God's spirit because he's here and he wants to bless you through it. Receive the words as a love song from the God who loves you, the parent who loves you beyond any parents possibly could. And we thank God for our human parents. We thank God for mothers. We thank God for our fathers. But we thank God most of all that he is the perfect parent, the perfect mother, the perfect father, the one who loves us so much. Let's open ourselves to him.
So is God speaking to you? Is he bringing to you reminders of how much he has loved you through your parents? And but for some, that won't have been that easy. And maybe as you've opened yourself to the Spirit, it's brought up pain. Let's just let the Holy Spirit just come into the Holy Spirit. Come where there's areas of pain. Come where there's areas of distress. Maybe come where there's just vacant areas and we can't remember the love from our parents. Many of us will be remembering that and asking and thanking God for it. But let's just be open to his spirit. He comes to heal. He comes to restore. He even comes to re create something that was never there before, that deep love that you can know and that I can know through Jesus. Holy Spirit, we welcome you. Let's just keep coming and receive more of his love.